Hello Taurus, Summon Rising, and Venus, and welcome to another reading. Let's see the overall energy for your reading for today. So we do have keep an open mind. Your soul may may differ from your usual type and expectations. And then we also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life with past life relationship. And then we also have release your ex and then we have uh, reconciliation. Now keep in mind, this could be your overall energy or someone external to you that's experiencing this Taurus. But I feel like someone's really waiting for someone to resurface back up here for them. And it could very well be you Taurus waiting for an ex to resurface back up here for you or somebody waiting for you to resurface back up here for them but nonetheless there's like a level of waiting at play okay on someone's behalf um, and it's because they're really waiting to hear from someone someone that they do actually want to work things out with someone that they do actually want to um, move forward with even even though it kind of looks like this relationship came to an end they're still trying to remain hopeful and optimistic that maybe just one day, you know, the two of the, the two of you can get back together here and try to work things out. But I feel like this person is really waiting. They're really waiting to hear from someone. All right, Taurus, we're going to focus on you first and we'll jump over to your person. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid. So this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. We have two cards that already came out for you. How does uh, Taurus currently view this relationship? Mm. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. We have the uh, Nine of Cups, we got the Four of Pentacles, and then we also have the Five of Swords. Could be dealing with a Pisces, possibly a Capricorn, maybe even an Aquarius. How does this person currently view this relationship? Oh, man. So, remember when I said that there was like somebody waiting? For someone to resurface back up here it's them i feel like this person's waiting to hear from you i feel like this person's waiting for you to contact them and you know as time goes by and they don't necessarily hear from from you it's causing them to essentially feel like you've moved on with your life like you've forgotten about them like you want nothing to do with them like it does have that feel to it six of cups this person could even be looking at like pictures that you guys you know I was going to say videos, to be honest. I'm not sure what that's about. But anyways, it doesn't have to be anything crazy, right? But yeah, this person could be looking at videos that you guys have taken of one another or like pictures because I'm also getting pictures, but I was getting videos. Like that's the first thing that came to my mind, videos. This person could be looking at videos that you guys have taken um, while you guys were essentially involved with one another. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. You know what I mean, right? But yeah, I feel like this person really does miss you. I feel like this person really does miss you and this person they might feel like you're over them they might feel like you want nothing to do with them but even though they're kind of displaying this image like they're over you and they're done with you don't be fooled okay do not be fooled this is somebody who still misses you this is somebody who still wants to interact with you this is somebody who still wants to very much so be involved with you even if they're not making any sort of attempt in your direction currently at the moment with the nine of cups to the four of pentacles to the five of swords between you and i and this is kind of like a bff moment you really are kind of allowing ego and pride to really get the best of you in this situation you're kind of coming with this overall energy of screw them i'm better off without them i can care less about them i don't feel like that's entirely true I don't feel like that's entirely true. You could just be upset and angry with them. Um, and that's why you're coming in with this overall energy. But I don't feel like that's entirely true. How does Taurus currently feel? Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. We have the Eight of Swords, and then we also have the Five of Swords, which creates a Two of Swords at play, and then we have the King of Swords. This is like an overall energy of wanting to have a conversation with this person, but I feel like you're forcing yourself to not go there. I feel like you're forcing yourself to tune this person out. I feel like you're forcing yourself to not think about this person. I feel like this person actually crosses your mind quite a bit. This is like an overall energy of wanting to have a conversation with this person in particular but the fact that we kind of have like a two of swords energy at play like this is you kind of forcing yourself to tune tune this person out to not think about this person to not contact with this person to not call them to not text them like it has that feel it definitely has that feel keep in mind taurus this person's thinking about you a lot 
they're thinking about you a lot. Six of Cups is a reminiscing energy. They're thinking about you a lot. So you could very well be picking up on this person energetically speaking, and that could very well be why this person's crossing your mind. You could even be having dreams about this person on top of that. But you're kind of coming in with this overall energy of screw them. I'm done. I'm moving forward. I'm moving on with my life. I'm better off without them. Like, you know what I mean? But I don't know why I'm not convinced, though. It's weird. I don't know why I'm not convinced that you're done with them, right? I just, I don't know why I'm not convinced that that's the case. I'm not entirely sure why, but I guess we'll see. How does this person currently feel? Mm, honey. Oh, here we go. Here we go. We got the Knight of Wands. We got the Three of Cups. And then we also have the uh, Seven of Pentacles. You know what this means, right? This is them heading in your direction, wanting to come back together with you, wanting to essentially pick up where they left off with you. Just saying. You're not going to see this coming. Knight of Wands. Interesting. I don't know why I'm getting like a risky energy coming from this person all of a sudden. They're taking a huge risk here. I'm not entirely I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. I'm, I mean, that's going to resonate for some. It's going to hit home for some. I'm not entirely sure what that's all about. But yeah, like... <laughs> They're trying to bring this relationship back together all over again. They're trying to pick up where they basically left off with you. So I guess we'll see how you respond and react to all of this. Like I said, I really don't see you making any sort of attempt in this person's direction. If I'm being completely honest, I don't. Uh, you're too busy, you know, trying to move forward and move on with your life. You're too busy trying to tune this person out. You're too busy trying to not think about this person. Like that's just kind of where you're at energetically speaking. Even though the overall energy of wanting to have a conversation here with this person is definitely there, I don't even see you allowing yourself to even go there. Let's look at this King of Swords. Tell me more about this King of Swords, please. Just keep in mind, right? You guys are both coming across as, you know, soulmates here. So you're going to pick up on this person energetically speaking, whether you like it or not, <laughs> whether you like it or not. OK, you know, what's interesting is that even though you feel extremely tempted to like, you know, extend an olive branch right in this person's direction, I feel like what's really stopping you from doing so has a lot to do with everything that you're telling yourself. Like, you know what, Taurus, remember that time when they did that to you? Remember that time when they did this to you? Remember that time that they lied to you? Remember that time that they made you feel like this, that, and the third? Like, I feel like, and you know what's crazy is that someone else had that same message. I think that it was Aquarius. I don't feel like it was Aquarius's recent reading that I put out for them. It could have been like the, the one after that. And you are sitting in a lot of Aquarian energy right now. Right now, you're really trying to detach yourself from everything, okay? You're really trying to detach yourself from this person and everything that they basically put you through. But you're just constantly reminding yourself at this point in time why you shouldn't even try to work things out with this person, why you shouldn't even contact this person. And it has a lot to do with, well, remember that time where they made you feel insecure? Remember that time where, you know, they said some really hurtful things to you? Or remember that time where they lie to you like you're constantly reminding yourself why you shouldn't reach out to this person basically all right let's see how you respond and react to all of this because they're making a move in your direction they really really are um i guess we'll see how you respond and react to all of this because i'm kind of curious myself let's see what happens let's see what happens what actions We have the Empress, we have the Two of Pentacles, and then we have the Three of Cups. Mm. Mm -hmm. yep. What actions will this person take towards Taurus or moving forward? Yeah. Here's just that double confirmation that they're gonna be breaking their silence here. The Ten of Swords to the Eight of Swords creates that Two of Swords energy at play. You know, the feeling is mutual, let's be honest. Like, I feel like you wanna have a conversation with this person as much as they wanna have a conversation with you. The only difference that we're seeing here between you and this person is that they're choosing to break their silence. They're choosing to have that conversation with you because this ending here between you and them does not sit well with this person. It doesn't sit well with this person. It just doesn't. And they want to have a conversation about it. They're really hurt. They're really hurt and they want to have a conversation about, about everything that happened here between you and them. You and them, I'm sorry. 
just be mindful that even though this person's coming in with this overall energy of Taurus, I just want to talk. Like, what you did to me, it really hurt me. What you said to me, it really hurt me. I just want to talk about this. It's going to come off like this person is just looking for closure. They're not, okay? They're not looking for just closure here. This person genuinely feels deep down inside that the two of you can be able to come back together and pick up where you left off, meaning they basically feel like you guys can basically get back together and, and work through this, but it's gonna come off like they're just looking for closure, but they're not. They're not looking for closure here. Let's just be honest, they're not. It's gonna come off that way. It is it's totally going to come off that way, but that's not their motive here. Their motive here is yes, to have a conversation with you. Yes, express themselves to you and just kind of tell you what's on their mind. But deep down inside, what they really do want is a reconciliation. It's not going to come off that way initially at first, but that's what this person's seeking for. Now with the Empress to the Two of Pentacles to the Three of Cups, it's like an overall energy of somebody who doesn't necessarily mind coming together here with someone or even meeting up with someone because I am kind of getting like a meeting up energy. You guys might have like a face-to-face -face conversation conversation in regards to whatever happened here between you and this person in the past but I don't I don't feel like you mind having a conversation with this person but here's just that double confirmation of what I already said initially at first it's going to come off like they're just looking for closure and again you don't necessarily mind having that conversation with this person you're an adult you're grown, you can have that conversation with this person. And that's just kind of how you're looking at it. Like, you know what, we're both adults, we can talk about this. Let's we, let's talk about it, right? But here's where it gets interesting. With judgment to the seven of wands to the nine of swords, this person's kind of pushing for something here with you. And you're not even gonna see it coming. I feel like you're being caught off guard more than anything. They're gonna try to push for something here. And it's kind of catching you off guard just a little bit. It's really causing you to overthink things. It's causing you to basically think that you could very well be finding yourself in a vicious cycle all over again with this person in particular. But nonetheless, between you and I, I see you getting back together with this person. Even though you were kind of coming out with this overall energy of, no, I'm done with them, I'm better off without them, et cetera, et cetera, I see you, I see you getting back with this person. I do. I see you getting back with this person. It's like an overall energy of, oh, I don't know, man. I don't know if I want to do this. I don't know if I want to do this. And it's because they're pushing for something. And uh, I'm pretty sure it has a lot to do with them wanting to basically get back together with you and start over with you. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what it's about. Double confirmation. They just want to pick up where they left off, okay? After, like, they have this conversation with you about whatever the heck happened here between you and this person in the past and how they feel about it, they're going to want to pick back. They want to pick up where they basically left off with you. They feel like this time around things can get better here between you and them. You don't seem to think so. And that's why we're seeing that hesitation from you when it comes down to letting this person back into your life. But they feel like things can improve. They can. The situation can improve. It, it requires both of you to make that happen, of course. But they think in their mind that given everything that happened here, that things are just going to get better between the two of you from this point on. That's what they believe. That's what they think. You don't really seem to think so, but either way, even though you don't seem to think so in this overall energy that we're seeing you in right now, I still see you letting this person back into your life nonetheless. So it kind of looks like there is going to be a reconciliation here between you and this person. So we do have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. And then we also have this could be the one it's just that double confirmation that this person has a very difficult time like freeing themselves from you and their emotions towards you, you know? But I feel like you're experiencing that as well. Like, even though you're coming in with this overall energy of screw them, I'm done, I'm moving forward, I'm moving on with my life, I'm better off without them anyways. Like, you know, I don't need them, they need me. You, you, you already know how it goes. I've been there, done that too. No judgment, it is what it is. But the both of you actually have a very difficult time releasing yourself from this connection. Let's just be honest. It is what it is. But like I said, after this conversation happens here between you and this person, they're going to try to pick up where they left off with you. If you think that they're just contacting you because they just want closure, you're sadly mistaken because they're going to try to essentially pick up where they left off with you, sort of speak. Okay, so that's what I have for you, Taurus. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. Also, too, for those of you who want to follow me on Instagram, it's linked in the description box down below, and I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.